Hey guys, got a few great reports to you. Stay tuned for a great hot bite fishing report here on Fisherman's Digest. This is our TH100 combo. So this is a pretty cool little neat deal. We've had it for years, guys love it. We can slide it right in the track, tighten it up down inside there. Just has our beverage holder. That's one of our vertical beverage holders that goes in the side that comes with this assembly. And our top plate that's machined holds our pliers. We hang our baits on here, holds our screwdrivers. We take one of the front holes, hook our fish tail for wiping our hands off right inside here. And it just really helps keep the boat cleaned up really nice and neat. So uh, this is the application of what our TH100 combo will do for you just helps clean the boat up so it's perch time of the year so we're going to bounce around just a little bit and talk about perch fishing we're going to start out in drummond island we're going to move over to the mouth of the detroit river in the monroe area then we're going to swing around and talk about the area from the firing range to port clinton ohio and cedar point where they're catching some really nice perch and it's just getting rolling so Let's talk first about Drummond Island. You know, my friends up at Drummond Island have got a great opportunity for perch fishing. It happens every year, end of September, the first two weeks of October. Now that season's been behind all year long because of warm water temperatures. But perch aficionados, guys like uh, Justin Bupp, guys like John Gobel, guys who guide up there consistently will tell you when that water temperature is right and it's getting right right now, there's some really good perch fishing to be had, and it's a little bit of a shorter window, maybe two or three weeks. So right now is the time to call those guys, get on their charter list, or get up there with your own boat. Drummond Island's got a great ferry service that'll take you and your boat right across. You Plenty of great mom and pops resorts there to get a slip, get a spot for your boat, get a great cabin, experience cool weather and great stuff. So how are they catching them? Well, you're not gonna be far away you're really just looking for bays around the islands themselves. You're gonna be fishing probably in less than 15 feet of water 100% of the time. And as the season gets into October, it's gonna get right into the nitty gritty like four or five and six feet of water. So it's not hard to find the local bait shop there, Johnson's Outdoors right on the island can, can get a map out and show you exactly the areas to target. Obviously this time of year, you're gonna see boats out there. They've got all the bait you need. Most of the guys are using perch spreaders and perch rigs, so it's really, really easy fishing straight over the side of the boat. Now, let's swing over the bridge all the way down to the Detroit River. Now, a friend of mine who does a lot of reporting during the season, during walleye season, sent me this really encouraging perch report from the mouth of the Detroit River. Perch fishing has been spotty there, but he said he started to do really, really well either in marinas or on the backside of Celeron Island. He said he was in 10 to 13 feet of water. He fished three times last week because the wind was blowing too much out on Monroe, uh, out in the big water. Went into the mouth area, was able to hole up behind Celeron, and three consecutive days he had some really good fishing. He fished from eight to about 11. Oh, maybe had six to 10, what he would call keepers, but guys, his sorting is, he, he's really looking for nine, 10, 11 inch fish. So he says he's starting to throw back a decent number of the smaller ones, some that maybe even some people would keep. But when you start having nine, 10, 11 inch fish showing up, that means the, the bite's about to start. So I had another report from a guy whose kids or grandkids fished off the back of his charter boat while it was tied up because of the wind out on the main lake, he wasn't fishing and his kids caught a half a bucket, a really nice perch right off the back of his charter boat, right in the marinas. So when that starts happening, guys, you can get your perch mentality on because it's gonna be going here soon. Now, last report is over from the Port Clinton area. Shannon from Bay's Edge says that there's good fishing around, oh, lots of different spots. You just really have to call the folks at Bay's Edge condominiums in Port Clinton They'll give you the exact locations. One of the, one of the reasons you go to a, a fisherman's destination like Bay's Edge is because their bait shop and their fishermen are out there every day with their walleye clients and their perch clients. And because you're staying at the condominiums, they're willing to tell you exactly where they're fishing and how they're fishing. And all around the islands in different spots right now and also in uh, the cans on the firing range, they're catching perch on perch spreaders, perch rigs, on emeralds or cut emeralds right tight to the bottom or even laying on the bottom. So it's perch season here all through the Great Lakes. Get a hold of one of these charter captains that works with us. 
or anybody else who knows what they're doing. If you know what you're doing, get out there with your own boat. Have a great time. Freeway Sports Center is Southeast Michigan's fishing boat headquarters. Freeway carries the full line of Angler Quest fishing pontoons and Polar Craft boats, powered by Honda outboard engines. Stop by our showroom today at US 23 and Thompson Road in Fenton, or visit us online at freewaysports.com. Spring, summer, fall, or winter, get to Freeway Sports Center. So hey guys, you know, three really good options for perch fishing. I know also perch are starting to bite, you know, over on the, the Saginaw Bay system as well. But, you know, I realize that this summer has held on longer than normal. And so that's pushed perch season back just a little bit. So if you're, if you're dancing around the wind, you should have good opportunities to catch lots of fish all fall long here in Michigan. <laughs>